Hello everyone and welcome to Dominic Salva TV. Today you are going to be learning how to make this cool bear gem. Gem with a bear reflection in it. And what you're going to need is a picture of a bear and that's it. So create your new picture. 300 pixels per inch resolution. The size does not matter at all. And just fill the background with black. Now create a new layer and use your pen tool and create a trapezoid. Now take the direct select and actually make it the shape that you want it to be. Like so. And the goal here is to get these lines so that they don't have any of these little jaggies otherwise the line will come out curvy so that looks about right make it like that there we go so that looks good now down here click this dotted circle and now fill this with a nice darkish gray. There we go. Now duplicate this layer. Select oops. Select deselect. Now hit control T and when you have this curved arrow, hold shift and it will give you a nice perfect transform. So you transform it 180 degrees. There you go. Now use the move tool. Click, hold shift, and move it straight down. Maybe move the top one up a little more. Make sure you're holding shift. There we go. Now take the rectangular marquee tool and zoom in not that far. Zoom in about like that and make a selection nope make a selection so you can make it fit the rectangle make it fit the trapezoid just like that okay now on a new layer fill that selection with the same gray. All right, that looks pretty good. So take the zoom tool, fit screen. Now right click, merge down, right click, merge down on these layers so you just get one solid shape. Select, deselect. And now let's say we want to make it a little longer. You can just hit control T and move it down as one object now. So, there you go. Now what you want to do is hold control and click on the little picture in the layers dialog or right click that picture and hit select pixels. Now go to select, modify, contract, and contract it by about 80 pixels. Maybe even 100 if you want this to be thicker. Now duplicate this layer and hit delete. Now make this layer invisible. So we're still going to use this, but you'll see how in a second. So you're going to take this layer and take a color like blue, red, pretty much any color that you think a gem should be. and on create a new layer and just fill the selection with that color put this under that layer alright now go to effect blending options bevel and emboss make the technique chisel hard size move it way up soften, soften move that way up about like that ok 
Okay. Right click right here, bevel and emboss, right click that, and then click copy layer style. Go to this, right click, paste layer style. So you get a similar thing, but since it's not the same size, it won't look the same. So go down to effects down here and click that, and you can change the size so that it'll actually fit the layer and turn the soften down a little bit on this layer too. So there you go. So now you have the gem and the surrounding part. Now take the actual bare picture, take your move tool and just drag it right onto here and X out of it. Alright, and with that make sure you have it how you want it on the gem. Here, just why don't we deselect that? Move the bear layer over the gem layer and turn the opacity down so you can see where you're putting it. So, just so you can get the face in there. And then put the blending mode to overlay. So you have a nice reflection of the bear. After you have that, move the bear's layer down to about 20% opacity. And if you want to get rid of the bear off of this metal, control click the picture next to the blue layer, and then select inverse, and then d hit delete on the bear layer. But I don't want to do that because I like the uh, the reflection of the bear on the metal, so I'm going to keep that. Now we're going to add the gloss on the metal. So create a new layer and make yourself a path here for how you want that to be. And then take your direct select tool and just change it up how you like it. And then take the pen tool again and add a vertice at each end. And then with the direct select tool, pull out on that vertice. And that'll make rounded ends. Now click the dotted circle right here. That makes a selection. Now do select, modify, feather, and feather it by about five. Now take the gradients tool, which you can get to by clicking and holding on the paint bucket, and click up here, and pick this one right here, foreground to transparent, and make sure your tra your foreground is white, and you can either take a radial to it like that, whoops, make sure you're on a new layer, take a radial to it like that, or you can take a linear to it, like that. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Alright, and now on the other side, create a new path, and just repeat the process again over on the other side so you get a glare on both sides of the metal. And if you want to, you can turn the bear's opacity up a little in these places and it'll just make it look a little more reflective right there but that usually doesn't look better now with the pen tool add these vertices make sure when you click on the pen tool you just have the pen tool and just click on the ends now take the direct select and pull out on the vertices All right, and then hit the dotted circle select feather which is in the modify and then by five pixels again and now this time take the radial one to the other side of it so that it looks like the gradients coming from a specific side and there you go that looks pretty good now create a new layer and this is the tricky part uh, it really helps to have a tablet here, but it's it's achievable with a mouse for sure. 
take your tablet or your mouse, take the dodge tool, and go down to this layer and dodge up the edges. Just like that. And what it does is just makes the metal, the reflection, look a little more real. And just add add that wherever you think it's needed, pr preferably along these edges here. right here is a good spot for it just wherever you think it would make the metal look a little better let's see like right here and try to get it as straight as you can it really doesn't help to rush so there you go and just get it until the reflection looks good right now i'm actually using my mouse i'm not even using my tablet so there, just do that until your reflection looks real. You can always undo it by holding Control Alt Z until you get it how you like it. So how about like that? And there we go, and we have that. And so that is how you make the cool bear gem, gem bear with a gem with a bear in the reflection.